Two small planes crashed midair during an airshow at Beja Airport in southern Portugal on Sunday, killing a pilot, the Portuguese Air Force, PAF said. The incident occurred 180 kilometers south of Lisbon and involved aircraft from the Yak Stars Aerobatic Patrol, described as the largest civilian aerobatic team in southern Europe, by the PAF. The patrol includes Portuguese and Spanish pilots. The killed pilot was Spanish. Another pilot has been injured. The show was organized by the Portuguese Air Force. North Korean missile debris found throughout Ukraine, Pentagon report. Russia widely uses North Korean missiles to bombard Ukraine. They hit not only frontline cities. Reuters writes about this with reference to a declassified Pentagon report. The report outlines various aspects of North Korea's short-range solid-fuel ballistic missiles, comparing images of the wreckage to images of the missiles shown by North Korean state media. The analysis confirms that Russia used North Korean-made ballistic missiles in its war against Ukraine. North Korean missile debris was found throughout Ukraine, the Pentagon said in a statement. Missiles from North Korea are said to account for a small proportion of Russia's strikes on Ukraine, but their use has raised alarm bells in both South Korea and the United States as it could mean the end of nearly 20 years of UN Security Council consensus on blocking missile programs of North Korea. It is noted that by its actions, Russia, which is a permanent member of the Security Council, not only provided Pyongyang with the opportunity to test missiles in combat, but also took steps that will complicate monitoring of compliance with the UN sanctions imposed on the North Korea in 2006. As reported earlier, Moscow and Pyongyang are planning an October surprise that will help Trump. According to NBC News, the October plan is aimed at helping Donald Trump return to the White House, with whom Putin wants to negotiate an end to the war in Ukraine on his own terms. It is also reported that Russia sent experts to the North Korea to help launch spy satellites. The North Korea may time the launch to coincide with one of the major diplomatic events with the participation of South Korea. Macron wants to go to war with Putin. France and Russia are preparing for a bloody war. French politician Marine Le Pen has accused President Emmanuel Macron of wanting to go to war with Russia in an interview with France Info. The three-time presidential candidate said that Macron's recent remarks on sending NATO trainers to Ukraine and allowing Kiev to use Western-supplied weapons to strike certain targets in Russia risk turning the current conflict into the next world war. Le Pen's comments come amid intense discussions in the West on how far into Russia Kiev should be allowed to strike using Western long-range weapons. Macron weighed into the discussion, opining that NATO should allow Ukraine to neutralize military sites inside Russia from which Ukraine is being attacked, even if they are far behind the front line. Le Pen slammed the idea, arguing that it creates the risk of a global conflict. Le Pen said that the French leader's views led her to conclude that Emmanuel Macron wants France to dive headfirst into war with Russia. The right-wing politician said that she extremely firmly opposes his positions, which could create an absolutely staggering danger for France. Le Pen previously accused Macron of playing politics with war and hijacking the Ukraine conflict for his electoral agenda. She has consistently opposed plans to admit Ukraine into NATO and the EU, 
place economic sanctions on Russia and to deliver heavy weapons to Kiev. Earlier, NATO's Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg announced that several of the bloc's nations had never placed any restrictions on Kiev's use of Western weapons. Reports also emerged that the US, which had previously not allowed Ukraine to deploy American arms outside of what Washington recognizes as Ukrainian territory, had granted permission to use its systems to target certain parts of Russia. The reports were confirmed by Ukrainian leader Vladimir Zelensky's office, which said that Limited strikes are now allowed against direct threats to the Kharkov region, where Russian troops have recently made significant gains.